Hey guys, Mr. Lessard here again, and my dog too. Um, this is um, a lesson in f finger style uh, guitar, but really you could do it with a pick as well, okay? Because uh, you're only playing one note at, at a time, as you can see. By the way, this is directly from off of rawguitar.weebly.com under the lessons page. So you can find the music there. And uh, you could do this all the way through just with down plucks. Um, the purpose of it, though, was to get you moving with the right hand fingers. Uh, the whole thing would be P I M A. P I M A, the whole way through until the very last chord. Again, on this uh, lessons page, there is, if you scroll down, there is a um, lesson, a, a, a link to a YouTube video on how to move these fingers correctly. And as I've said in previous videos, I'm going to say again, watch that. If, if you haven't been taught by me or somebody else exactly how to uh, move those fingers, uh, watch that video first because you want to make sure you're doing it correctly. Okay, so... Um, all right, so uh, let's let's begin. Uh, so here we are at, at measure one. This is a D chord. Uh, I notice a lot of beginning guitar players ignoring finger numbers. Don't do that, okay? Up here, these are finger numbers. Open D string, first finger on the A. That's important because if you use like second finger there like you might normally for the A, and then three, like you would for the normally for the D. Then you've got nothing left for the second fret F sharp. Speaking of which, notice the key signature here. Okay, this is uh, the key of G. So we're going to have an F sharp uh, here. It applies to every every F. Every F becomes an F sharp. So this is D A D F sharp, and it's a D form. Okay, on the right hand P I M A. Okay, and then we've got open low E, your low E string, open third string G, open second string B, pinky on the G. Now, why pinky instead of three? Because your three is going to be necessary for the first note of the next measure, which is a C, so you want to re reserve it to go three to three real quick like that is tough, okay? Uh, it, well, I mean, it's not like really tough, but it's tough to get it to sound good to have a smooth transition where you're not lifting up the G too early to get to that D. So here, you can do that, okay? So, first measure. Fourth string, third, second, first. You're using the fingers, P-I-M-A. Now, I-M-A is going to be third string, second string, first string throughout the whole song with um, just a couple exceptions, but mostly it's going to be Whenever I say I am A, with a couple exceptions, it's third string, second, first. The thumb's going to move around on the three bass strings, fourth string, fifth string, or sixth string. So here, for the first chord, we've got D chord down in the left hand, P, I, M, A, fourth string, third, second, first. Okay. Then sixth string, third, second, first. Okay. With the pinky on the G. Second measure, you're going to go into the C chord. The second finger is not necessary because you won't be playing the fourth string, but otherwise it's a, a nice, normal five-string C chord. The thumb will hit the fifth string here, okay? So see where that cursor is? Fifth string. And then I am A, just like I told you, will be third, second, first strings. And you're going to do that twice. And then a repeat sign. So you're going to play those two measures twice. Okay. Now, the second measure gets interesting. Open D, first finger on the A, second finger on the D, pinky on the A. This is also a D chord, but with, instead of an F sharp on the top, on the high string, we're going to put our pinky there. Okay, that's those were the first four notes. P I M A, fourth, third, second, first string. Sixth string E, open third string G, open second string B, and pinky on the seventh fret B. 
and then a quick transition back to your C chord in which the, I'm sorry, in which the uh, second finger is not necessary. And notice what we have on top, okay? That is a G note instead of our normal open E. So measure two, regular C chord, okay? Uh, second finger optional because you don't play that string. Measure four, regular C chord, optional second finger, but pinky here. Now, why did I do the C chord like that? Because that note there is a melody note. Okay, that's that's part of the tune. So I, instead of just, I wanted that G out up on top to ring out. Okay, now the transition here, let me go back to measure three, right after the repeat sign, the D chord modified. Everything's open, except for the pinky on the seventh fret. Then a quick transition to this C chord. Now, listen to me closely when you do something like this. Now these are, uh, like I said, you can do it with a pick, you can do it finger picking, but either way these are called arpeggios, okay? And I've had some lessons on this page on arpeggios before. An arpeggio means you're playing the chord one note at a time. And so when you have one note at a time, you don't have to get the whole chord down right away. In fact, sometimes that slows you down. So if I'm going from this seventh fret all the way back to the third fret, just focus on getting that third finger to the C. Not the whole chord, but just practice that. Okay? And then you can add in the rest of the chord. It gives you a little extra time to put down that first finger in the pinky. I'll do it in slow motion. Okay. Then you're going to do that twice. Okay. Now, on to, uh, you repeat those two measures as well. See how they're bracketed by repeat signs. And now we're on to one, two, three, four, measure five. Here we have an A chord. Um, you know what? Earlier I said that some uh, you're going to have a couple exceptions where IMA won't be third, second, first string. Actually, there are no exceptions. Uh, there was a something else I was thinking about for this chord, but I, I kept it third, second, first string. So this is going to be open A, first finger on A, second on the C sharp, open E. C sharp. Now C is first fret, C sharp will be second fret. So it's going to be second finger, second fret, second string. Do that fingering. Don't do this fingering to three because then your three's got to change real quick to get to that, which is not impossible, but it's smoother to do this. Measure six, the second line, D chord twice. Repeat those two measures. Now when I go from this D chord at the end of measure six, take the repeat back to the beginning of measure five, first finger is on the A for both of those chords. So I don't have to move anything. I keep first finger on the A, add second. Going on to measure seven, second line, second measure, D chord. This is just like the opening measure. Okay, measure eight, just like the second measure. But no repeat this time. Measure nine, just like the third measure. And then back to this, third finger down first, add one and pinky as you go through. Measure 11 is just like measure five. Then D chord for measure 12, second, uh, third line, second measure. Just like measure 11 and 5 again. And this time we're going to go to a G chord form. Third finger on the G, open third string G, open second string B, pinky G. Do that twice. Add the second finger on the fifth string and strum a G chord. All right. Let me play through this once, uh, practice it slowly. Uh, if it's difficult for you, master a little bit at a time, okay? So, um, in fact, this can count for more than one lesson if it takes you more than one day to learn. 
so you could just maybe one day say I'm just gonna master two measures and then the next day you add on another measure or two uh, then another measure or two then you start to see it repeats okay so once you get past measure six you're kind of home free because it pretty much repeats little variation at the end but it pretty much repeats all right let me play it for you including the repeats All right, guys, enjoy. Uh, email me if you have questions. Thanks so much.